Hello, we are gonna play World's End Chapter 3. I'm kind of annoyed right now because like I didn't I done like so I forgot that my video recording stopped. I had it left at, to stop at 13 minutes. So I had to do three clips, right? Two 13 minute clip and a four second clip. But then when I went to check on the video so I can combine them together, right? Turns out my fucking batting cam doesn't like if I disconnect my microphone, right? If I disconnect my Yeti microphone, right, from my computer so I have more space to connect other things on it, I forget that it doesn't auto connect, it doesn't auto like, it doesn't auto change the settings on Bending Cam to like connect uh, my microphone. So this whole time I was talking like a fucking idiot, uh, the, it, it wasn't recording my voice. So I had to start over, basically. And, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I could have just kept it, I guess, but it just, it kind of pissed me off, so I was just like, fuck this, and I deleted them. Anyways, we're back here, I do beat this level pretty falsely, um, but now I don't know if that's different, I don't know if, it, if it's changed now, <laughs> um, what the fuck was I at, I'm so mad, man, just so mad. Uh, this guy had, yeah, he had 14, so I can't do anything. I do, yeah, okay. Wait, hold on. One, two, three, four, four. Okay, I should still be able to reach that. Can I throw a corpse at this douchebag? No, I can't. Alright. Let's move over here. Let's move uh, over here. Uh, we should be good, I guess. I'm gonna, gonna want to move her over here. Uh, what did it do with Martin? I actually don't remember. I guess I'll shut up. The... No, that's right. Too many of them will target me. All right, let's just end it here. Okay. So I had some setbacks. They had smoke grenade him. I don't remember them smoke grenading him honestly. But all right. All right, misses. That's great. Adept shots. Oh, you see, before on my other playthrough, it missed the adept shot, and this one doesn't. This might actually change the playthrough. Mm, I fucking, it's a fucking hit adept shot, man. All right, who needs healing? Well, Martin and this dude, huh? All right, so let's use uh, mockery. We'll have Tavern take care of this dude. We will use uh, enc encouragement. I will disable that conveyor belt. Uh, yeah, that's all we can do for that. Let's throw a Molotov. Oh no, hold on, hold up. Oh, does it really fucking, oh no, I fucked up. Holy shit, dude. Hold on. I wanted to hit all of them, but in order for me to hit all of them, I have to, oh, there we go, there we go. Yeah, yeah, that'll do. There we go. Let's shoot you. And you missed, okay. So what I normally did here was I threw bodies. Wait, can I go further than that? Hold on. No, I can't. All right. I normally threw bodies at these this guy. And it, it did a pretty good job getting him low. Because I mean, I can't travel that much. Like, yeah, we only reached there. I think the bodies do more damage than the crates. So I'm just gonna rely on that. Yeah, and then there we go. All right, throw this box. And throw it all, all. Like just keep constantly throwing it over and over. There we go. Then we will attack this dude. And then we will move over here and dart the soldier. And misses. That didn't happen before. That's fine. Okay. Alright, 
it's uh, Chris Bolt, this guy. And do it again. He should be dead the next shot. Like this shot. Yeah, there we go. And that's it. Alright, and turn. So before I actually had one of these guys here blocking the entrance, but this guy, this, take, attacking that guy is fine too. I'm moving one down one. So, dirty knife. There we go. Oh. How much health does he have? Not too much. I should probably haste one of them. Hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll haste, uh, I'll haste Reynolds. Yeah, so he can get over there. Or I should actually throw a few bodies since I can't reach them. Like that. But that's all I can throw, so let's just run. And let's purify that, I guess. Let's run. Okay, that's all I could do. Okay, he's gonna be able to use tactical order. Let's just kill this dude. Receive foot grease. Receive five skill points. Okay, we have three turns. We don't know how this is gonna go, actually. And misses. Misses. God, you're such a fantastic shot, let me tell you. Such a fantastic shot. God, it's bullshit. Now I feel like we're not gonna win this, actually, because this is looking kind of rough. Oh yeah, this is looking bad. Alright, tactical order. Oh, misses, nice. Alright, uh... I want you to shove her. So she can fuck this guy up. Dirty knife. Uh, can you reach him? Yes, you can, with haste. Alright, start running it up. Uh, you could punch- yeah, I'm gonna punch this guy actually. Oh, that's 75% chance though. I'd rather do this. There we go. Uh, and knife him again. No, I'm not gonna, I'm not, yeah, no, I'm gonna throw the grenade at these guys, actually. There we go. Plus 85 Zoltex, 5 skill points. Uh, let's move. Yeah, let's go kick your ass. Alright, I'm gonna grab this body. Wait, who's lower? You have 20, he has 38. Yeah, let's throw at this dude. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's all we can do. So let's use mockery. Cause now that's all they can do. Like he can't he can't counteract it. And we got one we got one turn left. I had to actually kill these guys on the second turn left, but yeah, because of the misses and all that crap. There we go. 110 Zoltex. Receive candy ams. 10 skill points. And oh I can't reach that. Fuck. There we go. Receive Jerkin Pier. That's just a better version of Jerkin Upper. Can't reach it, but we haste him. Now we can, and now we want. Yeah, my first playthrough was actually better, but whatever. Defeated Gilbert. Alright. Law's victory plus 10 skill points. Oh, Martin, I just knew you would come to save me. I'm only glad I arrived in time to prevent something truly horrible from happening. Well, you're a bit late for that, aren't you? The whole experience was beyond dreadful. First, those smelly pig people killed my poor guards and stuffed me in a sack. Then, if you would excuse me, your royal highness, since by my boundless virtue of my tactical prowess, that the two of you remain. Who do you think you are? I would certainly not excuse you. 
If you haven't noticed, my story's not over. Now, as I was saying... <laughs> you miserable fools haven't seen the last of me. Now die. I like how this motherfucker is holding a generic bomb. And then throws it at Casimir and you just hear the bonk and he's just fucked. Get the fuck out of the way, asshole. Yeah, her way was smarter. Whoa! And dies. Well, I'd most certainly say the matter is settled. Ignoring the tyranny of unjust interruptions, I will resume my statement. Do note that your continued existence, as well as your opponent's non-existence, is entirely due to my actions. I demand some small recognition of my efforts. Whatever, whatever the case might be, it's true that we're alive. Now I don't doubt that Gilbert has some hidden cachet of loot. Considering what we've already seen, though, searching for it might prove fatal or worse. Yeah, because the poison is gas. I can only offer you what we've salvaged from these unfortunate men. So you're telling me I've told so exhaustingly for a handful of coins and some cans of potatoes? Oh, this is just... Though I can scarcely contain my own balanced disappointment, I suppose this will have to suffice. As agreed, a curse sub, right? Your share of the bounty. Rest assured that as 50% of the lint, skin flakes, and gold shavings are all yours. With that, our mission ends. Let us then quit this tiresome place. Men. Good riddance. I had a feeling this whole mission would end terribly. What? You can't just leave. Isn't this old man your friend? He's hurt, or maybe even dead. I can't, how can you be so cruel? It's not a matter of cruelty. Working for Tavern is a good way to shorten your life expectancy. It's amazing how many have died since I've been around. The old man hires drops like flies all the time. This guy's just the latest. Outside the gimp himself, this old bastard outlived any of them in the past couple of years. Oh, do look, he's alive. The saints have heard my prayers. So the heartfelt eulogy I prepared months ago must wait. To would have brought torrential moisture to the most desiccated tear holes. What fortune, I suppose. So be it. Vero, you know we're in great danger. We must venture forth to Turva to seek aid in the retaking of our realm. Father truly's been corrupted, and our brother as well. It's that rotten Derrickan, isn't it? We'll just have to smash that gross, gross bald skull of his and all will be well. More or less? Most of the methods we might pursue are unpleasant. I only know Verona has been over overextended itself and we must overturn its excesses if it will survive. Hold on, these excesses you speak of, might they include the occupation of Missouri? Certainly, Missouri stood sovereign for hundreds of years and will be so once more. Verona is no empire, such rapid conquest only invites future retribution. My, aren't you the idealist? How interesting, then maybe you'd like a guide to Turba. The joy of traveling with Tavern and his minions wears a bit thin. Curses upon the uh, the log plague Sorphic city of Terva. No future awaits us there. I'd sooner hasten east to Hervain and pursue more lucrative exchanges. Hervain, Tavern. You wanna go to Hervain? You know, crazy evil witch bitch that's there? Pardon me, Mr. Tavern, sir. But I've gleaned all the wisdom I might from our journey. I'd be pleased to forgo any allotted earnings and return to Terra for the rest of my years. If I may be so bold, and their highnesses would accept my company. Most serendipitous, this land is cursed, and I'd not tarry a minute longer on the account of those who cannot maintain a pace with such vigor as I possess. Hey, whatever happened to me getting to shoot that bitch? Her own low character will lead her to karmic disaster, far beyond the trifling punishment death might inflict. Goodbye to lot, and onward then, men. I haven't the faintest idea as to what he might be talking about, but good riddance, shall we be off? He certainly was a singular, strange individual. I wonder. Well, never mind. Let us be on our way. Alright. Wait, this isn't exactly the way to her vein. You're up to something, aren't you, old man? What gives? Do the brilliant subtleties of this plan elude you? Allow me to speak slowly, that you lot might faintly glean the wisdom of my latest endeavor. As you know, Dr. Geth and I are given to the discussions of contingency plans. I can say with confidence that there's no possible scenario we've not, anti not anticipated. I'm afraid I already see where this is headed. Tell me this one doesn't involve intestinal prolapse at least. How revolting! Nothing of the sort is afoot. However, it is true that the good doctor does wish to return to Turba. 
Dr. Geff's ever-increasing decrepitude and uselessness in combat has forced me to grant his wish to leave my service. However, I did request a final task in return. I like how he knows he's fucking useless in combat. Using cleverly coded phrases, I've, instruct I've instructed my confident to confined it to undertake a very particular particular plan. Its success shall see that Sidorus woman brought into our custody, whence we shall devise a suitable punishment for her wrongdoings against us. Finally. Heh, I should have known he had, had something in mind. Alright, I'll hold off on bailing you for now. What are you thinking of anyway? It's a known fact that Zofia has many foes. One would be particularly overjoyed to have her in his position. His. I like how I don't say the name. Pending my planned success, we'll deliver her to him and collect so grand a fee that our time wasted on this Martin debacle shall be twice justified. Pending is a key word here. Casimir is 80 years old and just sustained a massive hand injury. You think he even remembers what he had in mind? It is true the word sephoric may not have been the proper trigger, but alas, Tervos demands my presence and I may witness the possible fruitions of my schemes. Alright. Kinda sucks after go through this dialogue again. <laughs> like fuck. What a sad, destitute little town. How can people live in such conditions? Vera, you've buried your face in your books for too long. It's because the commoners live such a miserable, short, and filthy lives that we must protect them. Oh, your nobility is just riveting. With that in mind, I do hope you got a plan to do something about removing your filthy troops from my Missouri. I'll promise to do what I can. If I am to rebuff Durkin's advances though, I'll first need Turban military aid. Come Vera, we must speak with Lord Pesco. Most certainly, Durkin's gonna pay for what he did to father. Thank you for your guidance, and I wish you two the best in your future endeavors. Farewell. Not even a token appreciation, huh? Guess I couldn't have expected instant payoff on a longer term gamble like this. Oh? You're still here. Yeah, I like how no one notices him. So that brutish boss of yours, bosh? So that brutish boss of yours is gonna have you do something nasty to me, isn't he? Say, you're not interested in cutting a deal, are you? Actually, Miss Sideriska, the deed was done hours ago. The medicine should be taking effect any time now. I like how she never fucking knows she he like he even injected her with something. You old son of a. Good work, Doctor Geft. I knew I could rely on your ingenuity. As promised, here is your payment. But are you truly of mind to leave my employ? The adventuring life is too hard on these old bones. I wish for the security of possessing my own shop and conducting my experiments at my leisure. Most disappointing. Nonetheless, your service placed me in your debt, in a manner of speaking. Now let us gather up this harridan and return at long last to our abode. We didn't even see the place in like a month. Do you think it's even still standing after everything that's happened? I got my doubts. This is never a safe neighborhood. But there seems to be an unusual amount of corpses even for around here. All the fear wretches invade my home. He's back, Jesus. Still to truly ascertain its security, we must see it with our own eyes. Oh, have you forgotten something, Doctor? Oh, fuck. Just a contingency plan of my own, Mr. Tavern. You may start vomiting black tar if this antidote doesn't suffice, but I have just a remedy for that in my shop. Oh, fuck. And here we were worried about Zofia. Seems a quiet old guy was more dangerous than she ever was. That is almost true. Well, I'll pay his, I'll pay his shop a visit later, just to be certain. But first, let's see about the taste of the state of our home. <clears throat> Casimir has left the party. Well, we're only going to get like 30 skill points because I removed almost everything. Who's, who said you could be followed my abode with your presence? Shoo, shoo. Such drug idled vermin will multiply without cease if left undisturbed. So what are we going to do with Zofia anyway? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be pretty let down you telling me I can't stick a couple of cactus spines under her nails. You'll not be damaging the merchandise. Now, I am to sell it to a certain gentleman who ordered her assassination some time ago. But she must remain intact. Are you talking about the guy we betrayed by leaving Zofia alive? I kind of doubt he'll be too eager to do business with you again. I've hardly settled on the idea. Either way, many potential buys exist. A particularly unsavory brothel, perhaps. Uh, did we kill those guys? The, the city constables might even offer a bounty. Right, the same constables we just, we just killed the shit out of to get your ass out of jail. 
Are you thinking this through at all? The mystery of my mind deflects all wrenches and rationality. I only wish to demonstrate the plethora of options available to us. We better figure something out fast. Turbo's still too dangerous for us to stay long. I just hope you're planning on getting out of here as soon as he dumps Ophia off. I'll be moving precisely as quickly as I need to. Now I believe we are long overdue to gather supplies. Mr. Vaklov, your services. Oh, why not? I guess I need the fresh air anyway. Or a fresh stab wound, for that matter. Alright, that's a spirit. I like how Reyno's sleeping in the hay. <laughs> Just like how fucking Ivan used to. I wonder if he's exhausted. Jeez. Alright, let's save here. Finally back at where I was before. So, I decided to spend some points on Oksana's fucking... Uh, Im immov uh, immovable girth, but I think I think I'm gonna get the spear triple plus instead. Yeah, 100% extra damage, meaning that he does double the damage now. Um, of what he would normally do with his nor with his uh, other spear attacks. Um, and we also have to get demoralized. Reduces enemy SP regeneration and AP by half. So that means enemies are going to be pretty fucking useless for battle. Like, that means that with, with fatigue from demoralization, uh, they will either be able to move once and not be able to do anything else, or be able to attack and then not be able to move. Uh, which is really good. We also have the Codex. Casimir, an elderly turbine pharmacist and erstwhile employee of Boris. He's been Tevrin's personal narcotic supplier. Growing wary after many adventures, Casimir finally achieved his dream of a quiet retirement, leaving Tevrin's employee to work as a shopkeeper in Turbo. Gilbrecht, lord of a manor on the marches of Verona and cousin of that nation's royal family, including Martin and Vera. In the past, Gilbrecht promised Martin that he would be offered sanctuary in the event of any disaster befalling the country. After his betrayal, the royal siblings was revealed. Along with his role in Vera's capture, he was laid to rest by Tevrin and company. Interesting. And Zelfia. A machin machinist gunner and smuggler basing her operations out of Missouri. Fond of destructive weaponry of all sorts, along with life's more refined pleasures. After the fall of Missouri to Veronese forces, she joined Tevrin and company, with whom she finds herself working out of necessity. Ah, necessity, I see. Okay. Well, that's nice to know. Oh, my head feels a bit foggy. It's always that one last bottle, isn't it? Huh? Hey, what's the meaning of this? Praise the saints, you're awake! We found you in a grim state, kind of tonic, and reeking of bashfully in excess. Being such charitable people, we saw fit to rescue you. How kind of you. However, that doesn't quite explain why you've let me tied up like this. I do hope you're going to do something about that. I'm afraid I cannot. For your hungover conditions leave you prone to hysteria and violence. Besides, I seem to have misplaced my untying wand at the moment. Did anyone else hear that? This better not be what I think it is. Curses and damnation! Those were the last of our intact windows. I shall I submit the bill to your masters, or must I extract a more immediate payment? Imagine that. The city watch somehow didn't forget the litany of crimes we committed. What an unexpected development. We have warrants for the arrest of the villain Edwin Tevern and his minions. I suggest you go quietly. Try anything and we'll just have we'll have to resort to violence. You may, you just made a few mistakes, buddy. One, I ain't nobody's minion. Two, I don't take well to being threatened. And three, hey, hey, would somebody just untie me already? I do suppose we need all the strength at hand to repel these invaders. Very well, but do not protest when you succumb to the vapors once more. I think she lost her memories from the, the injection. Cause she acts like she doesn't know them. Unless she was being fucking sarcastic. But I doubt that. Like they're, like Tevrin's acting like they don't, um, they don't know her. Uh, let's see. So these guys got buffed, but not too much. You see, they still have less than two. Like they actually have slightly more health from chapter one, and their damage is skyrocketed. But they have the same amount of accuracy, a little bit more defense, and that's about it. They also have capture warrants, empire sits buried to better pursue Terror and company, extra five attack power, and 100% jump. That's like double the amount of what uh, Arachne boots do. Yeah. Um. Let's see. You could use Break Bolt, but she does. Still, she still does enough damage to really screw them up. Uh, so let's show you how much his damage ramped up. 
I actually didn't get this upgrade on the first attempt of doing a video, but he, he only did about 50 or 40. I think, no, I think, I think it was like 45. This one he does 61, which is pretty good. Uh, but we use Break Bolt. Look at that weak ass crossbow damage. And then, uh, and then attempt to hit him with, with it now. Look at that, 76. So that's like a little bit more damage. Yeah, let's go, let's do this. Technically, it would have been better to fucking, like, you know, go for the attack first. Uh, instead, because that would have been a better improvement. But it's whatever. Uh, let's see, I'll move you here. We're gonna wanna move Reynold right here, because there's gonna be guys coming out. Uh, as for her, shoot this dude. This actually, Break Bolt's actually better, because it helps everyone do more damage. Yeah. Um,. Let's use, let's use Demoralize, so they can't do anything. Maybe get one shot in, maybe like move and do nothing. Let's move her over here and use uh, Divine Bolt. Nice. Five skill points, I'll take that. All right. So this is about to break. If you can get them to go over there, that's great. Uh, no, we can't reach them. That's fine. I'll just uh, crossbow this guy and throw quartz. Yeah, that's not so bad. All right. All right, and then that's. I know we could both get hit, but I'll take it for 15 dead, and then I can just shove her. There we go. Uh, Divine Bolt. Oh, yeah, this guy once and I'll save the rest. In fact, I'm gonna go up here and throw, uh, yeah, this. There we go. And then we'll pistol him. Uh, actually, fuck it, let's grenade him. There we go. Plus 25 Zoltex, 5 skill points. I'll take it, I'll take it. Uh, we'll move back over here. Just chill there. You'll, you'll stay there, of course. Uh, I think that's it, all right. Yeah, see the guy comes out. So these guys also got buffed. Uh, pretty much all of the turban guards got buffed. Uh, 65 for club damage, 70 for shield. It's a lot. Accuracy is 80 though, so the accuracy is not that great. They are way tankier, but I don't remember them having only two special effects, so that's great. Uh, yeah, they don't have the warrants though, for some reason. I really think they should, honestly. Um, Alright, let's divine both this guy. That's about 60 damage. 62, that's really good. There we go. Let's go up and roundhouse kick this dude. Too bad we don't have Martin with us, but that's fine. It's whatever. Uh, I'll throw this at you. And shoot you, I guess. Her bullets can't get deflected, which is great, but she doesn't do a lot of damage. And you can't exactly break bolt them because they're immune to arrows, so that kind of sucks. But you can special knife. Like, you can knife them pretty hard, though. Alright, dirty knife. 109 damage, that's pretty good. 99 bar, alright. Five skill points. Uh, I guess we'll just sit here and do nothing. For some reason, this guy walks up here like an artard because that's about to break. She blocked narrow, nice. Oh wow, that's a lot. Okay, hits her. It's fine. Block set. It's so good. She's like so resistant to arrows now. Yeah, 30 damage. Uh, oh, I just have to throw this at you. Or do I want to? How much health you got? Oh, you're fine. You're kind of fine. Yeah, let me just throw this. Like, that's gonna do zero. And then divine bolt this guy. Uh, pistol, oh, I can't, really? I can't get the angle off? Okay. There we go. Anti-venom. Five skill points. 
Now let's see.